Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. I'm going to do a uh, brief video recap with fading daylight, and then I'm going to do um, just some screen, a bunch of photos for talking later to do uh, videos as I have more time. But, um, Tabernacles is over a couple hours, and uh, I'm just going to walk around a bit here and video a bit. Had an interesting uh, experience of falling on a slippery slope, and my back of my skull hit a whole force of my body extremely fast, slammed onto a cut-off sapling. Fortunately, whoever cut it, cut it level, flat, no sharp edges. Or it probably would have punctured my skull. A few inches down, I could have knocked me out or killed me. And an inch or two higher, it could have, probably would have cracked my skull. It hit the heavy, hard bone exactly on it, perfectly, near as I can tell, square, dead center. So it was an interesting experience. And I was bringing a homeopathic remedy kit down to a little girl who had gotten hit in the head with a tomahawk. <laughs> so in my concern for her, I took the one path that I never took all weekend long. It had been raining, which is why it was so slippery. And uh, so all the other times I'd taken the right path, which has got roots and bark and chips and everything, and I was kind of in a hurry and bringing some food down for a meal, and voila, slippery slope. And all weekend long, we talked three different people. I did, PJ did, and Curtis did talk about the slippery slope of theology. Of You know, when you get, on, when you get onto that slope, it's a slippery slope. Oh, my word. So anyway, here's a composting toilet. Might as well do a quick video on it. You want to have a bucket of sawdust or cover scooper somewhere to put your toilet paper where it's out of the rain which today was raining all the way into about a foot and a half in here so it rained for quite a while now this is a design by a friend of mine where he takes a five gallon bucket cuts the top off in this case my friend used a little plastic blocks, I don't know if they were part of the toilet, but just screwed into them from the side. Three, could have used four, there's a fourth one here, but... And then down into the seat with short screws, about one inch screws. So it didn't penetrate the lid. And then of course it's about full. It's been used heavy today. But I'm not sure I want to pick that up. Barehanded. And it just slides down inside. That way you, you pick the whole lid off. And poof, you've got the uh, rest of the bucket fairly clean, a lot cleaner. Or at least, you know, it's not, I don't know. I'm not sure what the, it's just an easier way to do it, I guess. It makes it higher, though, which I don't like. It's already, a five-gallon bucket's already too high to sit on to be efficiently eliminating. Um, look up Squatty Potty, look up the way Japanese Orientals go to the bathroom number two and you'll get the idea so anyway I did videos on some of the things here the shower houses which are cool so I'm just gonna call this one good for now and do a uh, some pictures as I go so right there's some uh, swimming pool filter and you can take that top off refill that media with zeolite and clay and gravel and make a water filter out of it, which is what it is, is a water filter, but, you know, make a drinking water filter, not a swimming pool water filter. Anyway, this is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. 4-4. Four, four.